Texas A&M's campus will reopen in the fall. The University Systems Board of Regents voted to approve a plan that will reopen the system's 11 universities and eight state agencies for the 2020-2021 academic year. But of course, with reopening, there will be certain safety guidelines students, staff, and faculty must follow. The Office of Academic Affairs knows the fall 2020 semester will not look like fall 2019. Well, it won't look like what the spring did either, but uh, it'll be somewhere between where we're going to have a bigger online, bigger remote presence, but we will still have that face-to-face -face instruction. A team of academic and public health leaders, along with legal guidance, have put together the university system's COVID-19 response plan for reopening. This plan will utilize social distancing practices. It will include things like smaller classes, longer class days to reduce congestion between classes, and adjusting the calendar to offer more classes on Saturday. For class size and how many people can be in a learning space at a time will depend on the adjusted maximum capacity per facility. So that classroom that previously might have been able to hold 50, maybe now it's 25, or maybe it's 20. Well, that number, that 20 or 25 number, now becomes a maximum size of a class that could go in there. There will be different models for how each university, facility, and class will approach how class will be taught. Now, that's where HyFlex and hybrid models come in. HyFlex lets students have the option to take a course face-to-face -face or remote, based on their needs. Hybrid means students are required to be learning face-to-face -face instruction half the time, while the other half remote. The universities are using a variety of different approaches, and some of it varies by discipline. So uh, a music performance class has a very different kind of dynamic than does, say, a, a lecture class in, um, in economics. All courses must also be prepared to shift entirely to remote if something were to happen with COVID-19. We certainly hope it will not be necessary. We expect that it may not be necessary, but if it is, we'll be ready. Throughout the next months, as the situation with coronavirus may or may not change, the university system is prepared to adapt. But we believe it's the right time to be planning for opening and adjusting accordingly along the way. President of Texas A&M Michael Young said earlier today that the classes for fall would start August 19th. The reopening plan details other points like arrival on campus, residence hall, co-curricular activities, and more. If you'd like to read and find out more for yourself, head on over to our website at kxtv.com.